That doesn't make you tier one, almost beating a tier one team. <laughs> that's not. That's not how you uh, move up in the the world of of, of team rankings. What would you say the difference is between tier two and tier one? I mean, in this game, I would just say comps. The comps alone can tell you, you know, the thought process behind the whole the whole team. That's a pretty clear one. You can usually tell who's uh, ahead of the curve and who's a little bit behind. And then the next thing that you can tell what makes what separates a tier one to a tier two is the way they like set themselves up. You can tell who's setting themselves up poorly and who's setting themselves up very well. And then it goes one step deeper. What do they do once they're set up? Once they've maintained that map control, what is their next step? You can tell there's very, very, diff very big differences from tier one teams and tier two teams. The, pro the sense of protocols are very, very different. It hasn't really affected them too much in the majority of rounds, but we are seeing that there are there have been occasions where they could have had an easy early advantage. Now in a round like this, I wouldn't really worry too Get much. Like way. you're looking at pistols, although they've now got a blade. <laughs> they had a blade storm. They yeah. had, it's gone. That was so, so bad. Oh my so god. <laughs> oh no. Either that was poorly timed with Sage trying to wall for him, or he just didn't do that right. You're not supposed to updraft on top of the box like that. I think that was just bad timing. I think Sage was supposed to wall, and he got bad comms. The wall didn't happen in time. Then he just waited for the wall to go up. I don't know. That was just bad. He got a win two in a row. But right now, it looks like Crew are just speed running ascent. Yeah, I was kind of surprised in the veto that we didn't see them actually pick up Breeze just because of how, well, they beat Sentinels on that map. This is crazy. This is such a common thing. Just 5A and just rush. I don't like it. Just do a default. Why? You know? What is the point of doing this? I see so many teams. So many teams do it. I don't get it. They're about to break that 10 round streak. Yeah, I mean, not too impressive doing it uh, up against the bonus if they lost. Why not try something a little bit more of a gimmick? I feel like 5A main is not a gimmick. This was a, a requisite for them, and they've managed to pull it. Is that a few pounds? Yeah, I think we both did. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, that's a good start. I don't know what was said. I don't know that sucks, was, man. No way you lose to an eco like that. Player, if it was peak mid and kill two people, that's a brilliant. That's why you uh. That's why you have a real flash, not arena. A battle of the spam, which Kesnet, get off fucking arena, man! You guys are trolling. Round for Fury, and they're getting away with this one almost flawlessly. A fight will be put up by Klaus and Manus. This wasn't a buy. He's no stranger to picking up. Got eco. That hurts. There, That's a big fucking round, dude. I don't know what the economy is right now, but if this if they won this eco and crew. Um, and crew has no money. Furio's gonna win the next three. Eh. Yeah, next two. Let's go. Next two, not three. Three's much. Next two. I'm not sure there's plenty of people here. Well, good kill. Now you're asking someone to translate. Yeah, Lee can do it. I don't know, dude. If Klaus could get a couple more kills, though, if Klaus could, if Klaus somehow makes this into a, uh, like he takes away two or. They just went in with pistols and a single rifle and just absolutely... Yeah, if he could take away two here... Now, there is actually a chance... Pretty fucking solid, to be honest. one versus three scenario. He's baited out the plot. Oh. Okay, well, they got three guys. Yeah, it was... All right. Yeah. That sucks, actually. That sucks a lot. That sucks a lot. There's, there's, no, there's no way of looking at that differently. That fucking sucks. <laughs> That's not good for crew. I don't know what their money is. You know, I think crew's biggest problem here is... Is that fucking Reyna pick. Yeah, they do, however, have a lot. So they're going to try and just force these players out of position. The hell is this double kill, Joy? Teams have decided to do exactly the same thing. <laughs> just waiting the other out. Let's we'll see if anybody actually gets trapped, but... What the gonna be the space fuck? Three players, two oh players? Boys, what is going on? Both teams? What is that? I have literally never seen this before. The double lockdown, double, triple detain. Azand is just cleaning up, covering that What confused. the hell? One of the more ludicrous rounds we've seen at Champions as Furia. I mean, I'm. I have never, I've never actually seen that before. Be scratching their heads on that, at that one, wondering how the hell anyone won that round. I think we're all losers there. That's insane. What should they pick? 
Uh, what? Instead of Reyna? I mean anything. Any any character other than Reyna here would help Crew so much. Except for like another duelist, I guess. You know, not not a raised or not a Sky would help a lot. Very, very they have no they flashes. Reina flash doesn't count. <laughs> Reina doesn't have a flash. Oh! What a wall! What a wall! Yoru? I mean, it's got flashes. Better than fucking Reina, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. Klaus already down. It's time to move through short. One is already being spotted. The smoke goes up. QCK falls back. And it can see the control. I know Fury also doesn't have flashes. Doesn't mean their comp's any better. I don't like it. I just don't like... I don't like not having flashes. They've got the sight. They've got upgrades. And now all of a sudden... I feel like flashes are so good. The set plays that you could do are insane. They're endless, really. There's a res, but it's kind of in spots where you can't really do anything about it. So... It, it, it almost becomes irrelevant until you manage to clear out these players on the side. You think KO's good for comp? Yeah. KO would be fucking a good pick, too, actually. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, you know, do you want to replay or do you want to take it as a DQ ruling? So Ascend is the MVP there, for sure. Assuming. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Big round. Big round. We got a huge fucking lurk. They're never going to expect this guy in T-spawn. And he's about to win the game for Furia. No. Yes. A little bit of trigger discipline maybe would have helped out there. Now this is in a little bit of danger. Yeah, they still have the polar ready to try and get anybody off the spike. So the fact is it's going to buy a lot of extra time. This duel is absolutely everything. No! He's going to win it. And now it comes yes! Oh my God! They won. All right, well. They do it again. They I can't believe Crew won. Actually, 